Betrayal. Betrayal is the act of stabbing someone in the back when you have faith on your part, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. <coughs> Suddenly, in comes the cheat. In comes the sleeping around. In comes the act of dishonesty. Well, in total, there has been many acts of betrayal. But for this particular player, for this story, it proves to be the most devastating betrayal ever. It's the story of Aoi 2000. I hope you guys stay tuned for this story. This is a special one. It's his story with my twist on it, and I hope you guys enjoy. Curtis Aoi 2000 Lane is a Canadian Dota professional player. He has previously played for Cloud9, Evil Genius, Team NP, and now he's the coach of Forward Gaming with Resolution. A little quick biography about him. Aoi encountered Dota for the first time as a nine-year-old, playing casually like a normal person. In fact, he started playing professionally when he joined the University of British Columbia's StarCraft Club, and he competed under the name Fate. of Validity Saga. However, he quickly switched to the Dota professional scene because of the international prize pool. At that time, it was about 1.6 million, but it was still considered the most esport revenue game. So going on, he maintained two jobs at the same time, as a preschool janitor, and then as a supermarket stock worker, while also studying sociology in his university. His parents continued to support him despite all his struggles. Now where would his betrayal begin? First, let's look at his success as a player. You see, Aoi 2000 initially played with a team named Speed Gaming where he had some success at MLG Championship Columbus. However, he decided to find a more promising team. He joined a very renowned team at the time named Cloud9 with Eternal Envy, Pilot Die, and a few others. Now, the interesting part about this story is that Aoi 2000 was a support player that truly helped his team thrive. He took Cloud9 to a fifth to sixth place at TI4. Then, World Cyber Arena, another premier tournament, placed second. And then lastly, at the Summit 2, he helped Team Cloud9 reach second place yet again. Now these are top placements in a very prestigious tournament. You have to be a very good player to reach that high. However, all of a sudden, Eternal Envy, one day out of the blue, decides to kick Aoi 2000. On a Reddit post, a fan says, I find it really odd that they were kicked. Sure, they hadn't won a tournament, but they were coming in second in pretty much everything. They would probably become top five yet again at TI if they were all to stay together. Now, some people say that Eternal Envy really kicked them because Aoi 2000 and Paladai were kind of a, a sort of passive supports yeah. where they would farm up and then they were replaced by Misery and Nota who pretty much played very aggressively. Yeah. However, Shouldn't there be an explanation to all of this? Shouldn't you explain to the poor man, Aoi 2000, that hey, you are being kicked because of your playstyle. You are being kicked for a reason. But instead, Eternal Envy does it in a dark and aggressive way. You see, what hurts the most here is that Aoi 2000 believed that Eternal Envy was his friend. They played at Speed Gaming together, then they progressed into Cloud9 together. But then, once he got authority, once he became captain, he decided to boss around and treat Aoi 2000 like a peasant. After literally placing second in a tournament, he was kicked. Now, Aoi 2000's story doesn't end there. In fact, this was just the first time Aoi 2000 gets betrayed by his teammate, by his captain, who he revered so much. But in fact, it would occur a second time for this poor soul. Aoi 2000 would get betrayed yet again by those he called brothers, those he went to war with. Literally, two months after Aoi 2000 is kicked, he joins Team Evil Geniuses after they recruit Sumail alongside of PPD. Aoi 2000 helps Team Evil Geniuses win the Dota 2 Asia Championships of 2015, two months after being kicked by Eternal Envy. Now this is considered the Chinese International. It was one of the biggest prize pools at that time in 2015. Evil Geniuses won $1.2 million. That's a hefty sum. Now then, we would see something more interesting. You see, Aoi 2000 with Evil Genius would play second at Summit 3, second at Frankfurt. Eventually helped Evil Genius defeat his previous team that kicked him 3-0 in a thrashing at Dota Pit League Season 3. And just like that, 
Evil Geniuses, your Dota Pit Season 3 winners. Oh my goodness. I mean, he was able to get his revenge on Eternal Envy, right? Well, things would go even more south. You see, Aoi 2000, he is a TI champion. He becomes the International 2015 champion as he uses Techies, a hero that no one utilized for Evil Geniuses and helps lead Sumail and PPD as their support player to defeat CDEC at the Grand Finals 3-1. Now this is the most devastating betrayal in Dota 2 history. We have other betrayals like Fly and No Tail where best friends split up, where Fly joins Evil Geniuses at the last bitter end. However, this is far more devastating. The reason why I say this is because Aoi 2000, after winning the international with Evil Genius, at that time it was a $6.6 million prize pool, the biggest prize pool in eSport history. Aoi 2000, literally six days, six days after winning the biggest tournament in history, is kicked off the team. Now this is the most epic betrayal in Dota history, in fact, in eSport history. On another Reddit post, somebody said, why does Aoi 2000 keep getting treated like this? He was first kicked from Cloud9, and then EG kicked him yet again. He is such an amazing and humble player, and it's really sad to see him keep getting kicked over and over. You know, it's like seeing a poor homeless man being kicked by other people. But then what you do is you join in on the fun and kick him even more. It really is a sad sight to see. And this is what happens to Aoi 2000. Now, Let's step back one second and try to get another perspective. Why did Evil Geniuses decide to kick Aoi 2000? On a post by GhostsGamers.net, they depict PPD, the captain of Evil Geniuses, mind and why he and the team decided to kick Aoi 2000. PPD says, the way Aoi handles his communication and his play made every game feel more harder than it should have been. Specifically, he says, I would spend hours and hours in my head preparing a strategy to only have Aoi question it. To have Aoi question our strategy as we sat down at the goddamn stage. Meaning that Aoi would question PPD's authoritative ideas during a mid-game. Perhaps this goes to show that Aoi has his own mind to the game and maybe he has some ideas that maybe conflicts with the captain. This is why today Aoi continues to become a coach. Now going on PBD says it took me an entire international at 2015 to realize that I no longer wanted to team up with Aoi. Despite the excuses made by PPD regarding the betrayal of Aoi 2000, there still remains another important factor that needs to be addressed. You see, there was another big, big reason why Aoi 2000 was kicked by Evil Geniuses. Evil Geniuses had found another diamond that was quite literally sparkling in their faces. This was the availability of RTZ, Artor the current core player of Evil Geniuses. Now, Clinton Fear Loomis, another carry of Evil Geniuses, once said that Arteezy is the most valuable Dota player out there. And basically, if you could have that diamond in your team, wouldn't you want to have it? But this is also another part of the betrayal. You see, Aoi 2000 helps Team Evil Geniuses reach Mount Everest, helps them conquer every fear, every biggest hurdle in the Dota international scene. They actually won TI5, but then six days later, he gets kicked. Imagine being on top of Mount Everest. You climb all the way up, you go through all of the hurdles, you struggle all the way to the top through the dangerous blizzards, the snowy terrain, and you reach the top. You conquer all of the obstacles, but when you see that shiny rock nearby, you kick one of your best friends, the one that helped you reach there. You kick him off the whole cliff and he falls down just so you can get that rock to this day evil geniuses still hold dearly to that diamond rock known as Arteezy. so basically Aoi 2000 gets kicked off evil geniuses because Artor Arteezy was a villain now if you want to think back at it to this day it is 2019 2019 evil geniuses have never ever repeated as ti winners have never even come on top of many of the tournaments where they should have in fact they always place top three or top two they never win anything 
Perhaps it's the karma that this betrayal has imposed on the team. You see, when you hurt someone so deeply as you have towards Aoi 2000, it kind of takes a toll. It, there's negative vibes around it. Evil geniuses to this day have karma inflicted upon them by Aoi 2000. Really think about it, when you hurt someone this deeply after kicking him after 6 days for Arteezy, wouldn't you feel bad? Wouldn't you feel down? Well Team Evil Geniuses have that karma upon them for the rest of their lives. Just as the way the karma inflicts upon Evil Geniuses to this day, the karma imposed on Eternal Envy is just as valid. To this day, Eternal Envy has never had professional success after kicking Aoi 2000. Now isn't that something, something out of the ordinary? Again, this is the most epic betrayal story ever. It's a story of Aoi 2000 and how he was betrayed by Eternal Envy and then Evil Geniuses. To this day, both Eternal Envy and Evil Geniuses struggle mightily. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. This is a story where I decided to go deeply about a little conflict, a little issue that many people fail to realize or know. Um, it's out there, it's true. Perhaps now Aoi 2000 has forgave or forgiven Eternal Envy and Evil Geniuses. But still, remember any kind of action that you inflict upon a person, an organization, it can come back and haunt you for the rest of your life. These are things that you want to take into consideration as you kick somebody, as you cut ties off of somebody, as you hurt your best friend, as you cheat on your significant other. You know, you just want to think about it before you do such a grave action. Everything has consequences. If you like these kind of stories, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and join Crystals. Until next time, I'm out.